a very good evening viewers today's topic in the chemistry lesson is IUPAC nomenclature I would be taking the functional group of anhydride of an acid that is acid anhydride group The word anhydride means loss of water. An acid is carboxylic acid. So, if a carboxylic acid has to lose water, you need to use a dehydrating agent. The dehydrating agent known to you is concentrated sulfuric acid, but for the purpose of removing water from carboxylic acid, it is generally advised to use a stronger dehydrating agent which is phosphorus pentoxide. Phosphorus pentoxide <coughs> is used to remove water from carboxylic acid and this is exactly what happens. The loss of water leads to the formation of R, CO, O, CO and an R. The structure to be explained is R, CO, CO, R. The other way of writing the same compound is or else also this, where. Both the R's can be same. You can even use different R groups. In this case, since both the R's are same, we call it as a symmetrical anhydride. Whereas, in this case, since the two R groups are different, it is unsymmetrical anhydride. Moving on to the IUPAC nomenclature of the acid anhydride group. As you can very well see, if I start counting the carbon atoms of the R group, continuous with a C, now I end up in an O, which means there is a break in the carbon chain. Hence, you cannot count the carbon numbers in one go. There are two different parts to the carbon number. In case the carbon number on both the sides are same, you just count them once. Because an anhydride is always prepared from two molecules of an acid. So as soon as you write the word anhydride, it's understandable that the two carboxylic acid have been used. And since you are numbering it only once, means both the acids are same. Whereas if you have two different R groups, in that case, it's mandatory that you count the carbons on both the sides of the oxygen group and then do the nomenclature. So, we'll start, begin with the nomenclature of a symmetrical anhydride. The simplest example is CH3COOCOCH3. This is a symmetrical anhydride since R groups are same. Count the carbon atoms on one side, 1 and 2. Now you have an oxygen, so forget it. On this side also you have two carbon atoms. Since there are two carbon atoms, the name begins with the word eth. Ethane, because there are derived from an ethane molecule. Since it is a part of a carboxylic acid from which you remove water, the name is ethanoic. Since on both the sides you have two carbon atoms, the name remains ethanoic, but you cannot write an acid. It is written as ethanoic anhydride, which means removal of water has been done from two molecules of ethanoic acid. The common IUPAC nomenclature of an acid anhydride is alkanoic anhydride, where alkanoic depends on the number of carbons on both the sides of the oxygen which is centrally placed in case of acid anhydride group. Taking up the second example have a look at this I hope you can understand this is not an anhydride the reason being there are only two oxygens since it is not an anhydride it is an ester 
Example number 2 of an anhydride would be CH3, CH2, CO, whole twice O is same as CH3, CH2, COO, CO and then another CH2 and CH3. There is another way of writing the same compound as ET is for ethyl group. ET, COO, CO, ET. Now counting the carbons on both the sides, one side of this compound you have two carbons and one three carbons then an oxygen which breaks the chain, two carbons and one three carbons and then you have an oxygen which breaks the chain. Hence you have C is equal to three on both the sides. Hence the acid from which it is derived is the propanoic acid, carboxylic acid containing three carbons. Hence the name of this anhydride is going to be propanoic anhydride. Moving on to the unsymmetrical anhydrides. This is the example number three. In case of an unsymmetrical anhydride, I am taking an example of this compound where you can clearly see this side carbon is equal to 2 and oxygen you cannot count. On this side you have carbon is equal to 3. Since on both the sides of the oxygen atom the carbon number is not same hence it is an unsymmetrical anhydride. The nomenclature of this compound follows an alphabetical rule. There are three carbons so it is from a propanoic acid while two carbons this is from the ethanoic acid. Out of the two alphabetically ethanoic comes before propanoic because E is alphabetically before P. So the final name of this compound is not to be done singly because the carbons on both the sides are not same. Hence you need to name both the sides in alphabetically order you have ethanoic, propanoic, anhydride. We will take one more example to get the concept clear. It's an anhydride. As soon as you come across three oxygens, it automatically becomes an anhydride. I again repeat, you cannot count all the carbons in one go because there is a break in the chain due to the oxygen. This side of oxygen has carbon is equal to 5. This side of oxygen has 1, 2, 3. Carbon is equal to 3. This will begin with pentanoic. This will begin with propanoic. This is the part of pentanoic acid. This is the part of propanoic acid. Alphabetically, both begin with P. Move on to the next alphabet. This begins with an E. This begins with an R. So, you look for this in the alphabetical order. This would come first, followed by propanoic. The name is pentanoic, propanoic, anhydride. This is how you do it for an unsymmetrical anhydride. Thank you.